Based on the dynamic model proposed in the book Double Helix of Philotaxis, this video explains the morphogenesis of flat spiral philotaxis. According to this dynamic model, a new primordium appears at the center of the inflorescences at equal intervals of time. Moreover, each primordium increases evenly in its size. As the primordia grows, each primordium presses onto the others. As a result of this pressure, each primordium moves in a straight line from the center of the inflorescence. Let's color each new 8th primordium in light blue, each 13th in light red, and each 21st in light green. The primordium through which all three peristiches pass will be colored in black, and the three primordia which are closest to it in blue, red, and green, respectively. Now, blue and red peristiches are clearly visible. Accordingly, red and blue primordia are closest to the black one. Let's save this pattern for future comparison. Here we see how blue primordia are moving away from the black one, and the green primordia are approaching the black one. Now, red and green peristiches are clearly visible. Accordingly, red and green primordia are closest to the black one. The transition from one visible pair of peristiches to another is called the philotaxis rises.